Flucyclovine is also called FACBC and is also called Axumin. Axumin is the commercial name um, that is uh, because this molecule is owned by a company that is called Blue Earth. They came to the US market because, like I said, FDG is not efficient for prostate cancer. So there was no good PET CT imaging technique for a long time for imaging, staging prostate cancer. So they came to the market with this other PET CT probe. This one is not looking at the glucid metabolism, but the amino acid metabolism. And it is highly uh, increased in prostate cancer. So it's a good target for prostate cancer imaging, especially compared to nothing. So they came to the market in 2016. They got the approval by the FDA. And now it's been two to three years that it is now standard of care in the US for imaging prostate cancer recurrence. When I came to UCLA, when I arrived, we developed this uh, PSMA PET CT protocol, research protocol for PSMA this time, not Fusiclovin. And we got the approval of the FDA to do research with that. We enrolled patients. And it happened that many patients that we enrolled for PSMA had already an axumin, a fusiclovin scan that was done before and that was negative. It means it wasn't able to detect any disease. We did the scan, they, they were then referred to us. We did the PSMA PET CT scan. And in many cases, we were finding where the disease, we were seeing spots and abnormalities, whereas the fusiclovin scan was negative, normal. And said, whoa, that's, that's really unexpected. Then we decided to design a scientific study with a dedicated protocol for that. 50 patients, all the same indication. They both have the same uh, the scan at the same time, a time frame of two weeks between the two scans. Uh, they all have a PSA between 0.2 and 2. So it's the same patient population. They all have both scans. And then we can compare the finding in a very rigorous scientific way. What were the findings? Uh, here we talk about detection rate. Detection rate means in how many percentage of the patient the scan was positive, was able to show disease, wherever. So it was 60% for the PSMA versus 30% for the fluciclovin. So almost the double of detection rate with PSMA compared to fluciclovin. So now PSMA is not approved in the US yet, but if you have to choose and you can be enrolled in a PSMA trial, I think it's better to do PSMA. If you cannot, it's still a good, uh, fluciclovin is still a good scan to do. It's much better than nothing. So it's already a fair, fair technique that works pretty well. But if you have the possibility to do a PSMA, I think it's better. One day, a PSMA probe, PET CT probe will be approved. And I think the fluciclovin axumin, which is currently the standard of care, will decrease and PSMA will take over.